Ed Clissel joins us now to talk more about this and the overall trends that he's seeing in buybacks. He is the chief U.S. strategist at Ned Davis Research. Welcome, Ed. Nice to have you here. Obviously, there's a lot of angst on Capitol Hill about the increase in buybacks and the consistency of some companies to buy back their shares. If Washington does get involved in some way, shape or form, what would the impact be? Well, I think what companies would, would then do is find other ways to return capital to shareholders. And that's really what, what buybacks have become. Because they aren't taxed like dividends, companies have over the last several years figured out that that's a more tax efficient way, way to do that. So what you've seen is buybacks surge over the last four quarters. They've hit a record high of $750 billion for the S&P 500 companies. Um, and that's, uh, that's a 50 percent jump over, the, over what you saw before the tax cuts a couple of years ago. Going back to that Goldman Sachs report, the one stat that caught my eye was this idea that uh, we're at a point now where sometimes the cost of the buyback exceeds the cash flow that a company has. Are we getting to a point now? I mean, buybacks have been going on for a number of years now and growing. Are we getting to a tipping point now, do you think? in the buyback process? Well, I think there's two things going on here. One is that uh, companies uh, could repatriate cash that had been uh, overseas uh, as a result of the tax cut. So you probably will see buybacks uh, start to slow down um, as companies burn through uh, that repatriated cash or cash, again, that was overseas for uh, a long time. Uh, the, the other thing is that companies tend to continue to buy back um, until the economy goes into a recession, and because that's the quickest thing they can do to, uh, to start to conserve cash. So I wouldn't expect a huge drop off in buybacks until the next recession. Uh, you see that as the biggest risk, right? Yes. Um, the biggest risk is, 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 in fact, that when you do get to the next recession, because one of the side effects over, over the last few years is that um, buybacks have become a bigger and bigger percentage of daily volume. Um, and so if buybacks go away, obviously during a recession, the, the stock market tends to fall, earnings tend to fall, but then you're going to take away a, a big buyer in the market, which have been companies mm -hmm. buying back their own shares. So that could, that could make things a l uh, even tougher during the next recession. Ed, thank you so much. Ed Clissold with Ned Davis Research.